uh, hi everyone and welcome to my first video of uh, this channel and uh, what we are going to build because uh, still i haven't identified what particular area i'm going to focus more in building the the next set of videos i'm still planning to build end-to-end -end, uh, full stack videos but before that i'm going to uh, just talk about what all different platform available online where you can do where you can write code i mean just writing code locally does is not enough you can use this these uh, different platform like code sandbox talk blades gsbin or rappel it to build or test your application you can use a nextjs you can use swell kit swell gs nextjs react gs all these different programming languages supported by them like code sandbox i have seen that all different templates swell gs react gs angular gs uh, rxjs vanilla javascript javascript with the typescript react with the javascript react with the typescript so all these templates are available and it's uh, very nice like if you don't want to use a vs code locally and you are sharing code with someone they also provide a nice collaboration mechanism that means if you have any friend who wants to collaborate with you then you can just share the link and you can do do the pair programming in the collaboration mode this is another app which is react uh, typescript using wit which is actually another powerful uh, front-end tooling to build the application and run the application right like a webpack there is a wit there is a rollup rollup was popular with the swelt js then now there is a wit is uh, another powerful tool and that's popular and uh, either you write react next js or swelt js swelt kit wit is everywhere to build and run the application right so it's like a it's doing the compilation and a building. So here you can see the dependencies, TypeScript, Wait, ESLint, React, React DOM. These are the core dependencies which are there. Okay. Now, if you try to explore why I'm talking about these tools, because sometimes we confuse like how to write code, how to share, or how to write code in the collaboration mode. So you can use a Stack Blitz, Rappel IT, or GSBin. And uh, like if you see all these different templates, these templates are really nice. You can just write a vanilla JavaScript, Next.js, React.js, Angular, Angular TypeScript, and all those platforms. So here I'm just playing around with the Swell Kit. Swell Kit or Swell JS application you can also build. This is a SSR, server-side rendered uh, application using Swell JS. So there is a Swell Kit same as the Next.js, right? So here we are writing Swell JS uh, components, and SSR is enabled by Swell Kit. So now next platform we can talk about is uh, REPL IT. This is another platform and stock blitz. REPL IT is for mainly for the Node.js, I guess, because it it spins a, uh, spin a server for you. You can create a new REPL and you can just play around with some Node.js JavaScript code. I mean, sometimes you wanted to just play with the simple problem statement and you wanted to use some dependencies, libraries, and you don't want to, to, to do locally. So here it provides the whole setup. It gives you the package JSON and your JavaScript code. In package JSON, you can also include a new dependency that you wanted to include in your application. It will install that dependency. Like these are the core dependencies already there. I, you can add uh, more dependencies and it will install those dependencies for you. So here I can add express as a dependency, like let's say 4.0.0 and it will install that dependency. Okay, and I can also manage the dependency. It also provides the database support, the secrets, uh, GitHub integrations, and all, all sort of things. Okay, here I can see the dependency, and this is where we can write the code. It is giving you the platform to run the Node.js code through the CLI. So there is a console, and there is a shell also it is providing. So you can do node index.js, and whatever the code it has, you should be able to run that. So here you can see the package dependencies. You can add new package dependency, like if I wanted to add a jest as a new dependency. And this is where I can run the code, node index.js, and this is what when you what will happen when you hit the run. Okay. So this is really nice platform. Another thing is we can do uh, Svelte kit, uh, sorry, the stock blitz. And it is divided into different categories. Uh, let's say it's a front end, back end, uh, or a full stack, vanilla JavaScript. All these uh, major categories are there. So let's say this is a TypeScript project. And here these are the, the broader categories. Uh, Frontend, which is all the front-end framework, React, JS, Vue.js, Svelte, JS, Angular, right? And then there is a backend, Express, Nest.js, Pua, JSON Server, GraphQL, and all. 
so here this is a simple setup of uh, here we are writing nest.js so we already know how the nest.js works right my channel will be promoting some nest.js content but this is how we can create a next.js apis n-e-s-t okay not n-e-x-t this is a backend uh, api development framework or built on top of express this is really nice to build a rest apis or any kind of uh, whatever you can do with express that can be done with the nest js it's more modular and you will like it when you use it and this is like a it is actually a two tooling system and you can integrate it with the swell js preact view, view typescript and these are ssr framework like if you want to build something full stack full stack means where you can write a client and server both together then you will use this full stack framework like Nuxt, Next.js, Remix or Svelte Kit because it is allowing us to create a client side pages and server side API routes. So we can actually write a client side page and integrate with the Svelte Kit API, Next.js API or Next APIs. Okay, so there is an ecosystem already there. Like if you want to write a blog slides and all, you can use that. And vanilla JavaScript, uh, static uh, HTML JavaScript, all those things are available. So this is also really nice. I use stock blitz and code sandbox a lot. So I wanted to share it uh, with you guys that you can just play around and share the code and share your work. Like you can build uh, some small, small applications and publish them. So if somebody is looking for, okay, how to build a simple slider in React, they will find your solution. And this is the JS bin really very old, but still very popular when you want to write a simple JavaScript. So this is pretty much we have, uh, let's tune in and uh, do more on this channel. Some crazy stuff in JavaScript, TypeScript and in the full stack world.